Hi, my friends call me Lime and I want to help you perform even better in your videos. Now, in the last episode, I argued that when communicating a message, stories can be so much more effective than just telling claims or even facts. And regardless of whether you're trying to influence your audience or just entertain them, there are some stories that you might want to have told first, and in this video we'll discuss what they are. Story number one. Who are you? Imagine that you are listening to a song with a specific message, but what you know about the singer completely clashes with the message of that song, making you feel like the singer doesn't really mean what they're singing about or even know what they're singing about. ruining your experience of that song. Now, what if the story of the singer instead complements the message? Now, your experience of that song is probably a lot stronger than if you wouldn't have known anything about the singer at all. Now, when it comes to new people, in the back of our heads, we're always asking ourselves, who are they? And if they don't answer that, then we will, and then it might not be in their favor. So answer the question, and when you do that, keep in mind that stories help people connect with you and help people feel like they know you, and people tend to come back to the YouTubers they feel that they have a connection with. What story you tell about yourself completely depends on what ethos that you want. Uh, in the last episode, I told you that I will start talking about mental health on my channel and therefore I decided to tell you a story about how I overcame panic attacks to prove to you that I know what I'm talking about. I mean, it wouldn't do the job if I just told you. Oh, believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Another way to communicate who you are is to communicate your values, what you stand for, your beliefs, and the story in my last episode could communicate exactly that. That is, if I told you the value, I never told you the moral of the story. My panic attacks taught me that if you have a heart at all, there's some things that you would not wish on even your worst enemy and still i see people deliberately trying to break you people with 20 accounts all of them telling you what a piece of shit you are and how you should kill yourself when you're just trying to make people smile no heart people who wish you to burn in hell if you think about what that actually means it's heartless and i have even wished people fates that they didn't really deserve and so in a world where it's so easy to lose ourselves even for just a minute it's so important that we keep empowering heart which is why i'm doing it story two what's in it for you so imagine a neighbor that you know knocks on your door like But first, you must meet Mr. Nelson, said Pippi Longstocking, and this story tells us... Then you might be asking yourself, what is this person doing here? What do they want from me? Now, what if they instead told you their situation, that they have a big presentation tomorrow, that they're very nervous about, and they need someone to listen to them before the event? Now, you might be at least a little bit more likely to listen to them because now you know what's in it for them. When making videos, we sometimes neglect talking about what's in it for us because we're so focused on telling our audience what's in it for them. But sometimes your audience doesn't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I mean, if you don't care, then why should they listen, right? So show them why you care. Story three, what is in it for your audience? 
Now, imagine a misguided religious group knocks on your door. Now you know who they are and you know what's in it for them, but you still won't listen to them because they haven't convinced you that there's something in it for you. And sometimes no story in the world could convince you of that, but that you have to feel that there is something in it for you is a given. Now, in the context of YouTube, uh, videos where there would obviously be something in it for you would be videos with a list of activities that you could do to grow. However, what if you instead told a story about someone using that list and succeeding? Then that story would include that list, but also the sense of motivation and hope. And so a story has this but also that. So stories are multi-dimensional and that is why they're so much more effective. Now, how in the world can people be expected to tell these many stories? I mean, at this rate, you might not be done entertaining until an hour into the video. Now, <laughs> you don't need to tell any of these stories. In fact, if you don't want to, then you shouldn't because no one wants to listen to something not even you care about telling. The point was that these kinds of stories work in your favor and then it's up to you what story you want to tell in what situation if you want to tell any of them. I mean, I don't think that I ever told you any story about what's in it for me to create this series. So I'm actually curious about that. Why do you think I create this series? What do you think it's in it for me? Tell me that in the comments below. With that said, thank you so much for watching. Bye.